Shalomam la bechayarium shal yasha Allah. First of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh b'Hashem Yahshai b'Hashem Rechak Kodash. Peace to the election of the nation of Israel. As I said first in the Paleo Hebrew, and of course, all uh, praises to Yahweh b'Hashem Yahshai b'Hashem Rechak Kodash. Yahweh is the true, Almighty, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, who the world only calls God. His only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the world only calls Jesus Christ by Hashem, meaning in the name Rechak, meaning Spirit Kodash is holy. Of course, double honors to the the elders Slakia, the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who well and peace and salutations to the Sinsiachim that are there of course risking their lives and freedom to bring out Zamath this truth. Shemya Amafa, my name Amafa is Amafa is truth. And I'm coming again with another lesson with Kakodash, which is very should be very chawash or quick. It says here a vile hunter got a thrill from killing 5,000 elephants and 60 lions. You have here a hunter who claims to have killed more than 5,000 elephants says he is totally unrepentant about his actions. And, you know, you have to look at this word, which is unrepentant. Which this is a characteristic of Esau Edom being unrepentant. Even though you have to understand there's no repentance for him anyway. He can't kindly look back yeah, you know, uh, with sorrow anyway. He's a killer by nature. Okay. A murderer. Not a killer. He's a murderer by nature. Okay. Commits what is that? Ratzach. Alright. So it says here. Showing no regret. For one's wrongdoings, right? So he's remorseless, unrepenting, shameless, right? Unapologetic, all right? It says here, and this is this is a part of Esau Edom, who Esau Esau Edom is the so-called white man, all right? He's named white, he's red, all right? Adawam in the Hebrew, okay? This is exactly whom he is, and he's showing whom he actually is. It says here, shocking moment when a hunter shoots a sleeping lion. And you can, of course, watch the wee video where you see that the lion is, of course, in its natural habitat and such living, sleeping. You got this damn devil going up and shooting that damn lion while, he shoot, while he's, of course, sleep. And that's wicked, all right? That's nothing but wickedness right there, all right? Which... You know, um, you know this. Uh, this some of these precepts will come out through the spirit. You know, I'm just I gotta go to the shada, the plantation, the field. All right. Let me get a quick precept, real quick, or pequod. Let me see. I got. I need cruel and I need beast. Because this is the nature of this damn devil. Okay, he's a, a hunter. All right. This is uh, going to be the book of Proverbs 12 and 10. It says, A righteous man, right, or guardeth the life of his beast, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. All right? You know, this, this damn devil, all right, is what? Within him trying to be actually merciful, he's cruel, okay? He's wicked, okay? Just the, you think this damn, this devil allows what? Lions to roam about. Just to what? To, to, to go to sleep so he could just go and kill them for sport while they're asleep. All right? That's wicked. All right? It says a righteous man regarded the life of his beast. All right? So if you was a uh, Tazadak, all right? Let me see. Let me go and get it real quick in the Hebrew. All right? Real quick. Yeah. It says, yeah, he. We got yeah, what, and, and let me see. Taza. Dayak, Taza Dayak, a Day, yo, yeah, to Dayak, right? A righteous, all right? Or a he, or he, and righteous, I believe. Let's lock if I mix up something. You got, I believe, Naposh, which that believes a, a soul, all right? That's a soul, a righteous soul. Okay. Uh, and you know, I'm just gonna go into it. Um, 
Let me see if you got Ayash in here. I don't see it here. I, I don't have the time to go and break this whole thing down in the Hebrew at the time. But you have it just simply. All right. A righteous soul will, of course, regard the life of his beast. Okay. But you have it here, a damn devil, which is so-called white man, the red Hebrew Edomite, which we will actually go and see if he could. You know, when I've seen the article, it said a Zimbabwean. And Esau Edom has been hiding who he actually is under all of these various you know nationalities he's not he don't want to claim Edom all right which that's what he is okay it says here that Rob Thompson revealed he also hunted about 800 a buffalo it says also that 500 hippos in a boot Four, four, 40 leopards among other animals according to his website it says Thompson has previously boasted of killing about 32 elephants in one go you know one shot he's going after all the elephants you know them in the you know wilderness and such you know this is well this is wicked you know they go do this for sport get the tusks and all of that you know they skinning these animals using them for coats no taxidermy, all types of sorts of, of rubbish. All right, these devils got a lot to pay for. It says he had he was identified in a report uh, by his campaign to ban trophy hunting. All right, which this is what he's doing: trophy hunting, hunting for sport. Which let me see, I want to go into this term right here. All right, and this is what these damn Edomites do. How about no. Uh, you know, basically, you know, trophy hunting is, uh, let me see if I can get it in another browser real quick. I gotta go to the Shada. It's crazy, I don't know. <laughs> This thing crazy. Trophy hunting is uh, trophy hunting is hunting a wild game for human recreation. The trophy is the animal or part of the animal kept and usually displayed to represent success of the hunt. This is Esau Edom at his best, all right? But she ain't nothing but a harab, all right? A sword, okay? Hebrew word, all right? Habariath, ha the Hebrew, the bar word. Kaya sword is harab, okay? And this is nothing but this is what Esau is, okay? Real quick, this is gonna be the book of Genesis, the 25th chapter. Alright, just going skip into the you know the point. Genesis 25 and 23 it says, And Yahweh said unto her, Two ma two nations are in thy womb, and two matters of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and one people shall be stronger than the other people. The Israelites, alright. Okay. The sons of, of, of uh, God, all right? The Israelites, the princes of the power, okay? They are stronger than the other people. And the elder shall serve the younger, all right? Which the so-called white man, all right, is the eldest because he came out first, all right? And he, of course, served us. What? When, of course, he had, of course, the, the, the he had, of course, the dark ages, before that, you had Malak that would die, all right, slaying these damn, you know, King David slaying these, uh, and, uh, King Solomon, all right, having these damn devils in subjection, okay, dark ages, and ultimately in the kingdom, they're gonna serve us, all right, it says, and when her, her days to be delivered, were delivered, behold, there were twins in her womb, so Rebecca, all right, but having a child by Isaac, or or her father, right? It says here, and the first came out red, 
all over like a hairy garment and they call his name Esau or Shashu which means waste away is he because he then they come out with pigment all right which Isaac and Rebecca were both melanated people all right this was outrageous to see all right and he's the same spirit as Cain okay who received that mark all right for being wicked all right you could go into that story you know with him being a damn sword but you know for the sake of time i'm gonna try to just you know keep reading and go through this so it says here it's i'm gonna skip down to verse 27 genesis 25 and 27 it says and the boys grew and esau was a cunning hunter a man of the field and Yaiqua was a plain man dwelling in tents. All right, so Esau was a cunning hunter. All right, this is part of, of course, Esau's heritage and whom he actually is. Being a cun cunning, all right, which that hair have under hair has your die, which that means to know, to uh, know, basically. All right, in Hebrew, all right to know, all right. And it says to know by experience, all right? Somebody who's a, a, a very experienced hunter, they know the hunt, all right? This is this is Esau, okay? He knows by what, trying out, all right? That's this all what Esau is, okay? So Esau knows, you know, all of, you know, the ins and outs of hunting, all right? This is his blessing, okay? And Jacob and Yaquab, which means a planner, was a plain man dwelling in tents, all right? Man, of course, of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, dwelt in the house of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Esau is outside, he's profane, okay, outside of the temple, okay. So, let's uh, fast forward and just get some of this proven that this is Esau Edom, okay. This is what you damn devils do you just go and murder, lie, kill, you know, destroy animals. This is what you do. It's the book of Genesis 25, or 27, it's like in 40. It says here, it says here, it's, I start at 38. It says, And Esau, a Shashua, said unto his father, which is Isaac, it says, Hast thou but one blessing, my father, or Abayah, Barakia, or bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. He cried, right? It says, And Isaac, his father, Answer and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, the best parts of the earth. All right, the greatest, you know, the you know all of the good things, good places. You get all of those blessings and the dew of heaven from above. It says, and by thy sword. All right, the sword, thy sword. Okay. It says uh, right here. Harabka, thy sword. Okay. Thou shalt live and serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. All right. So you have it, you know, the so called white man, being the damn devil that he is, he's the sword. He lives by the sword. All right. Okay. You had this damn devil. He was in subjection and came back. All right. Into rulership. Okay. Okay. During, of course, what? After, of course, uh, <clears throat> you know, we ruled. You know, we, we ruled times of dark ages. All right. And then this damn devil came back into rulership. You know, came out of the Caucasus Mountains and such. All right. And, you know, time of the Renaissance and such, you know, stuff has been ruling ever since, which is a little season. All right. So you have it here that the so-called white man is the sword. All right. Uh, just quickly proving more. This is the book of Psalms uh, 17 and 13. It says, Arise, O you how disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which y'all also have known as the wicked, which is thy sword, Kharab ha, Kharabka, all right, Kharab is a sword, Ka makes it thy, all right, thy sword, okay, the Lord, the sword, the whipping stick of the most high is the Edomite, 
This is Jeremiah 49 and 8. It says, Flee ye and turn back. Dwell deep, O inhabitants of Dedan, for I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him, the time that I will visit him. And the Lord is doing that. He says, If grape gatherers come to thee, wouldn't they not leave some gleaning grapes? If thieves by night, they will destroy till they have enough. But Esau, Esau, he takes everything. He's covered in this, so he takes everything. All right. It says, but he want yours and his and more. It says, but I have made Esau bear, and I have uncovered his secret places, and there he shall not be able to hide himself, and his seed is spoiled, and his brethren and his uh, neighbors, and he is not all right. And you can see his seed is definitely is spoiled, all right, and uncovered. Is in, in you know the secret places we know exactly who Esau Edom is, all right. Spoiled, you got Shadad Bahabariath in the Hebrew for spoiled, okay, which it means here for spoiled. They got ruined, ruined, devastated, all right. The spoiler utterly ruined, definitely be ruined because we know exactly who he is, all right. This is going to be the book of uh, Genesis, the fourth chapter. All right, and you going to? I'm gonna go to the point. This is gonna. This after, of course, Cain and Abel. You know, they offered up an offering. Of course, Cain, Cain, Cain or uh, I think Koyan, Koyan, in the Hebrew, which I believe that means spear. When you go into it, or some type of, you know, yeah, it's like yeah, like a spear, Koyan. Koyan, all right. It says in in Koyan talked with his his with with Abel Saki, his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him, all right. Which he, of course, put him to death, all right. Slew, which I have to see if it's Harag. Let me see what we got here. You got yeah Harag, all right. He killed him. All right, which this would be murder. All right, it says here, uh, going down, it says, and the Lord said unto uh, Quyan, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. He lied to the Most High, I am, am I my brother's keeper? This is a damn devil. It says, and he said, When thou hast, what hast thou hast done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the groom. All right. It says, and the, and the, and thou, and now the art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from the, thy hind. And when thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. And that's why you see, you know, the earth is you no, know, it's not yielding its strength. All right, it's fullness, and you see that, you know, we get nothing but genetically modified rubbish because we got a damn devil rolling over the earth and wickedness. It says, a fugitive, that's you Edomites, a fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be in the earth, all right? A vagabond, you's a fucking nothing but a, a, a someone who's trying to escape judgment, uh, justice, all right? Fugitive, a vagabond, that's a wanderer, all right? A fugitive we have here. Uh, they got here just, man, tossed about around. See, they don't really got nothing much in here. Somebody, basically a fugitive, somebody who's on the run. All right, so, man, I like to go into it, but it ain't giving me nothing at this time. But just, you know, go into it yourself. Okay, Vagabond is a wanderer, all right. That's what he is. He's everywhere, okay? Every base, military bases, everybody's business trying to rule. All right? You're ruling by the sword, okay? That's in Revelation. All right, so anyway, it goes on. It says, um, And, Ke and Qu Quyan said unto Yahweh, my, my punishment is greater than I can bear. It says, Behold, thou hast driven me, me out this day from the face of the earth. And from the face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth, by Aratazah, in the earth, in the land. And it shall come to pass that 
Every one that findeth me shall slay me, kill me. It said, and the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whatsoever, whosoever, Slakia, whosoever kill, basically, sorry, it has slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken upon him sevenfold. And Yahweh set a mark, which is a distinguishing, all right, it's a distinguishing sign upon Cain, which that's going to be he, that mark, he lost his pigment. Because everybody was, of course, melanated. He lost that pigment at this time. Right, and you have it when he came back as Esau eat him without pigment. It says, least any any finding him should kill him. Right. So that's it right there. Okay. Esau Edom is the sword. He's the wicked. All right. He's a, he's a trophy hunter. He's a he's a cunning hunter. All right. He's everything right here. As you can see, this is Esau Edom. Red. Right. This is the devil. All right. It says in an interview, this independent Mr. Thomason denied being a, a trophy hunter, insisted he killed animals to help population survive. All right. He think he's doing population uh, control and such. All right. It says I didn't have a statement. He said I'm totally unrepentant. Uh, uh, and this is the damn devil. You know, this is, he's a liar. You know. It says a thousand times for over for any hunting I've done because that that's not a problem. You know, he's totally don't have no remorse. It says the problem uh, is we've got a bunch of so-called experts in the West telling us what to do. I'm trained in universal ecologist. All right. Which I believe that's dealing with the studying. Let me see. I'm just going to it real quick. I got to get to the Shaddad, man. It's showing crazy. It said expert in studying ecology. All right, it says I am. I must surely know something about this. All right, he thinks he's an expert. All right, but as the scriptures were saying, right, going back to it, it says here, back to it, it says, Flee ye. Well, let me see, actually, it says concerning Edom. Thus said Yahweh of hosts, is wisdom no more in Teman. All right. Yeah, it's in Teman. I believe Teman de deals with, uh, you know, the, the, the wise men of uh, Esau being what? The uh, Germans here, in this case, I believe. All right. You know, they, of course, advance these Edomites. It says, is counsel perished from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? Okay. Y'all wisdom ain't nothing. All right. The, the, the knowledge of wickedness is not uh, uh, is not wisdom anyway. That's a precept. All right. Um, it says thy. I'm gonna just skip through. It, it says uh, it says thy ter terribleness has deceived thee, and thy thy in the pride of thine heart, thy mind. O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, meaning you Caucasians that holdest the height of the hill. All right. Obviously y'all ruling. Talk. All right, hills and you know represent and mountains represent governments. Thou, it says, though thou shouldest make us thy nest as high as the eagle, along with the satellites, y'all going up into outer space and such. All right, and the nest is a what a dwelling. All right, but y'all gonna try to escape some of you elite. You gonna try to escape the nuclear destruction. I will bring thee down from thence, said Yahweh, and also Edom. The so called white man shall be, be a desolation, and everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at his plagues thereof. And it says, as in the overthrow of Sultan and Gomorrah, which was destroyed via what fire and brimstone. It says, in the neighbor cities thereof, said Yahweh, no man shall bite there. It says, neither shall the son of man dwell in it. And it's going to be no, when you see it, it's not even no Arabian going to pinch tent here. It's going to be a place of nothing but devils and such. All right. You know spirits and, and all that okay read down is it i believe what's that the 13 chapter i gotta go back to it but with that you know you can see it rob thompson a vile hunter you know you can read the rest of the article you know um you know he claims to be uh you know uh as it look at it, it says thompson was accused of western convert it says of spreading fraudulent lies to extract money from the public while understood nothing about managing wildlife. This is a damn devil. He said when you have a healthy population, you must ensure they don't increase beyond the capacity of their habitat. This is all lying. He says, this is, you know, the earth was meant 
for you know us to live in, to be inhabited. What is this? This is all. This is all lies. So anyway, I'm I'm done with this. Um, you know, I, I want to continue. But I gotta go to Shada, Slakia. You know, hopefully you're edified. Call all you money, Yahweh, Shema, Shabbat, Shema, Chag, Kodesh, and or Chag Kodesh, and double on Shadows with Pasta Great Millstone, Vile Hunter, go go thrill after killing five thousand elephants and sixty lions, and it's more than that. Shalom.